Hey, mommy, go down the, go down the ramp. <laughs> and they say this is a children's museum. Hey guys, we're back. So the last time you all saw us, we were in Savannah, but now we are in a state park called Falls Lake Recreation Area, just north of Raleigh. And today we had the uh, pleasure of going to a, a kids museum called Marbles Kids Museum in downtown Raleigh. And uh, we had a good time. We took the kids there and they really enjoyed it. We're working our way up the East Coast. After this, we're heading to Delaware. I think something really cool about what we did today is a lot of the things that we do tend to be um, not necessarily adult oriented, but they're not super fun for the kids all the time. Any of you families that are traveling that have kids, you know how important it is to keep the kids happy. So today we checked out the kids museum and it was a blast. And let me tell you, it wasn't just fun for the kids. I think I had more fun. fun yeah, I think yeah. I had more fun than they did. And, and, and <laughs> you know, yeah. And you know, again, I, I'm always a, uh, an advocate for, you know, inexpensive fun things to do. Um, turns out it was only nine dollars per person really is what it averaged out to uh, yeah. for the four of us It was a total of thirty eight dollars for a whole day's worth of enjoyment at this kids museum Yeah, which is as kids museums go. I think relatively inexpensive yeah. We've yeah. been to some that were upwards of twenty dollars per, per, per yeah, person yeah. Um, and some of them were not anywhere near as elaborate um, or big as this one was today yeah. so in comparison, you know, this uh, Marbles Kids Museum, <laughs> there's an ant on there. That'd be what funny. is that? I might have to, could... It's not an ant. It's like a little tiny, what is that? Wow. What is that? If you wanted to be famous on Say YouTube. hi, YouTube. <laughs> Guys, I've never seen a bug like this before in my life. It's like a beetle. It's like an ant, ant mixed, mixed with a praying mantis. Yeah. What is this? Okay, all right. You're not allowed in the video. Ah, get away from my finger. I don't know what you are. Okay, okay. <laughs> Where are we at? Um, what so were it's we very, talking it was, about? Okay, so. What I really liked is it wasn't all just like water activities. Some of these kids museums, like there's some fun stuff, but then the real main activity is like there's a water station or something. So you all get wet and everything. There was so much to do that wasn't water related. In yeah. fact, there was only a little tiny, small uh, splash pad area. Yeah. What was your favorite exhibit? Well, you know, I, I liked everything, but the things that really stood out for me was the really neat three-leveled uh, pirate ship that, uh, that was in there, as well as a pet vet station. But our kids love animals, so the girls really loved the pet vet station that was there. Yeah, they had a lot of um, imaginative play centers. They had like a farm. That was really cool, an ambulance. Um, the pet vet was really cool because they had like the x-ray station. Like yeah. you could put the x-rays up and it lit up. And, yeah. it was, and they had a it bunch really of different, cool. um, you know, kennels uh, for different types of stuffed animals that kids were able to play with and pretend that they yes. were actually sick and they were able to do, like you said, the x-rays and the shots and yeah. it was just really neat. Our kids are at that age, they're six and almost five. So they're right at that age where they play pretend all the time anyway and they just use their imagination so for yeah. them to see the things that they imagine and they were child size I kept thinking to myself wow that was a really great exhibit I don't know how we're gonna beat that right. and it seemed like the next one we yeah. went to every single time it just kept getting better and better and better so there was a lot to see and a lot for the kids to do so what was what was some of your favorite things in this museum I really liked there was a center called uh, the money palooza it was this big room and everything inside of it had a lesson in making money or saving money uh, they had a pizza shop where you could bake the pizzas and you could sell the pizzas they had a lemonade stand and everything so you had ways of making money and then they used uh, little balls to represent 
money, money to the kids and all of these balls could go into this central hub where they all went up into these tubes and it filled up this giant piggy bank. Mm -hmm. And then when it got full enough, it exploded and they all fell to the, the ground. Yeah. So in order to get the balls up there, you have to use, you know, your simple tools, your mechanics of levers and pulleys and gears and cranks and everything. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that science experience but you're also getting that economics lesson where if you put all of your money together and if you save and if you build it up and build it up and if everybody works together, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. something that seems like an impossible task, filling this giant piggy bank up with money, with, with money then, was, was yeah. achievable. Yeah. And the kids loved it when it would explode and it would okay. fall on the ground. And honestly, I think the parents loved it too. Yeah. So. <laughs> I know you did. You were I did. gathering all the, 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 the money balls. It was for the kids. It was for the kids. And the first level, there were some scooters that the kids could ride around as well. So that was really in a large area. So that was really nice for the kids to kind of work off some energy as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall, I think it was a great experience. If you're in the area and you're looking for a relatively inexpensive family outing for you and the kids that you want to have some educational fun I think this would be great right now um, they are doing time slot entry in order to get in once you're in you can stay as long as you want until it closes but you do have to choose a time slot to enter the building and mm -hmm. show up during your allotted mm -hmm. time and that's just to keep the crowds at the front desk I think under control so they're doing their best I think to, to keep yeah. everybody healthy and still allow the kids to have fun so Yep. Overall, I think it was a great experience. Yeah. There's bugs everywhere. Another good thing, and you know I'm all about saving money, right? Mm -hmm. So we went on a Sunday. So if you park in the parking deck across the street, parking is free on Sundays. Yes. So. But you also have to keep in mind the museum might be a little bit busier because it's a weekend. Today was Sunday, and it was in the middle of summer. Schools are out, and it still wasn't overly crowded i don't think no. there happened to be a little art festival with food trucks across the street from the kids museum that we ate lunch at so that was a nice touch as well yeah we didn't plan it that way but we showed up and there was this big festival and there were all these food trucks and everything so we actually went out halfway through the day went and got some really great mm -hmm. uh lobster fried mm -hmm. seafood mm -hmm from a, yeah. a food truck and ate and then went back in and spent the rest of the day until it was closing time. So that Perfect. just worked out perfectly. That, that, it really did. But I think there are some uh, restaurants, some local restaurants in the area too, if you were looking for somewhere to eat. Yeah. I think I got a little spoiled because I was expecting prime rib buffet right there on the street, <laughs> just like what we experienced at the, uh, on the Georgia Queen river, river boat. You, Savannah, can't, you so. can't always get all you can eat prime rib. Such is, Why not? Such is the world we live in. <laughs> <laughs> Say it ain't so, it ain't fair. Uh, okay, so that was one day here in Raleigh, and uh, next time we see you all, we'll probably be in Dover, Delaware. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you know of any children's museums or other fun children activities that we could do, in any area in the United States, let us know and maybe we'll check it out one day. And until then, see you again. Bye. I'll do that one over. Yeah. Maybe Only something will come to us sunny. later. Maybe this will come Always up. Always sunny. Something will come up. In a rich man's world. I'm gonna start so long, farewell. I'll be the Xanadja. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This was good, but it wasn't like wow over the top, okay? Let's I just... thought it was wow over the top. <laughs> I had fun. It was a really cool experience. It was good. It was very, it was The it was kid in me loved it. It was a great day. Don't rain on my parade. Come on now. So. God, this fire our... is hot. So... <laughs> All right. So... No, it's kid. Don't, do not put that in there. Me to do it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, why, why am I having a hard time? I don't know. You usually have no problem talking. <laughs>